When something is out of reach, it tends to captivate us more. This could happen with food in the month of Ramadan. Because we have to abstain from it, we are all guilty at times of being enamored by it more intensely, especially at Iftar. While this may be natural, Ramadan teaches us to weaken this physical desire and strengthen our connection to the Divine. Simple, non-indulgent meals can assist with this essential character development. Eat a food that is dry, so he becomes accustomed to it in its purest form, occasionally for lunch or for supper, so that he does not think it must always be luxurious. Reflections based on the commentary of Abdulaziz Ahmed. Habits like daily routines shape our lives. Some of our daily habits may be beneficial like brushing our teeth, combing our hair, and washing our bodies. However, some habits can be blameworthy and hurt us. This stanza of the poem is advising us to be mindful of our daily diet. The emphasis is not so much on variety, but rather on the virtue of simplicity. When children are accustomed to luxuries, they may become averse to discomfort and chase only ease. Imam Ghazali said, He or she should be made to enjoy giving the best food to others, and encouraged to pay little heed to what he eats and to be content with its coarser varieties. Imam Ghazali advises us to cultivate a spirit of giving and contentment with simpler meals for ourselves and our children. Let's prioritize simplicity, building positive habits in children, and marrying the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ's teachings. Your generosity can help Abdullah and his friends mirror prophetic teachings and adopt good habits. Won't you join us now? Help mirror prophetic teachings for lasting blessings.